What's up, Betty Army? Welcome, Welcome to another segment of In the Kitchen with Betty Twin. Today's segment we're going to be making fish tea soup. Ooh. Oh my god, we haven't had some soup in a long time and you guys have been asking us to make this so we're finally going to make it. Yes. And we're going to add a little twist to it guys so we're ready to give you the grocery list now so yes. Let's get into it. Yeah. So we have our grocery list here. The main thing on the grocery list is we have some kingfish right here that we're going to Ooh. use in our, fish, in our um, soup. I like this is King how the fish, kingfish king looks. Okay, over here we are right. So we have our packet of fish tea, our grace fish tea packet. Over here we have some thyme. We have some okros. We have some garlic right here. We have a carrot. We have an onion. We have some golden ray butter. This is very important. We have some pumpkin. We have some green bananas. We have some colandro. This is um this is cilantro, but this is like the the Trinidadian version. You, you can find this in um, a lot of the Caribbean supermarkets. We have some green onions, aka scallion, right here. We have some celery right here, and last but not least, we have some pimento peppers. So guys, I am ready. This is a lot of seasoning that is gonna give this soup some a lot, very flavorful taste. There is the special green seasoning that I'm gonna have to make to season the fish. So let's get right into it. So you're a head chef? Yes. Okay, let's go. So first things first, guys, we're gonna wash our fish. I'm gonna pour it out into a container. Then I'm going to pour some, I have some lemon juice right here. Pour some of that on there. Then add some water to that. And I'm gonna let it soak for a little. You know, get the rawness out. And I'm gonna just let this soak for like five minutes. All right, guys, so our fish has been soaking for five minutes. Now we're gonna wash it off. Now guys, there's a special green season that you use to season the fish. It includes these ingredients, some green onions, some pimento um, peppers, some garlic, and some colandro. So I'm going to have to blend these up into my food processor. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay guys, so before I put my seasonings into the food processor, I'm gonna cut them up into small pieces so it will be easier when I, when I put them in a, the food processor. So I have my green onions here. I'm gonna cut it up in small pieces. I'm also gonna do the same for my pimento peppers. Now guys, if you like spice, you can use the scotch bonnet pepper, but we don't like spice like that, so we're gonna use the pimento ones. Then we're gonna do the same to our colantro. Now for our garlic, we're just gonna remove this thing at the end. So guys, we have our food processor right here. If you don't have a food processor, you can use a blender, a regular blender. We're gonna start loading our ingredients now. We're gonna put our garlic first. Then I'm gonna add our peppers. Then I'm gonna add some of these green onions. Then I'm gonna blend up this a little. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of water. Then I'm gonna blend. I'm gonna add the rest of my ingredients. Also gonna add a little bit more water. No summer smell of pimento pepper then. Mmm, -hmm. mm, that season is strong. Whoa, that soup has a flavor for long. Okay guys, so our green season is finished. We're gonna transfer it to our container. Mmm, you smell that? No, so that smell flavorful. That smell good. And this is what it's gonna look like guys. It kinda looks like sofrito. For all my Spanish people, y'all know what season I'm talking about. When your mom go in the kitchen, she make up all these green seasons, girl. Yes! 
Okay guys, so now it's time to season our kingfish. Guys, I have some salt right here that I'm gonna use. Also some black pepper. Just a little bit of this. And a little bit of that. Season it, season it up. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my special green sauce that I just made, green seasoning, I should say. Sofrito. I'm gonna add a good amount, but I'm also gonna leave some, cause I'm gonna use some in the pots later on. Make sure you get it all over the fish. Rub up the team good, or rub it up. Or... So this is all done seasoning guys. Now I'm gonna leave it to soak while I get my other ingredients ready. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna slice into small cubes is our pumpkin right here. Now we're gonna dash up our carrots. Now we're gonna dash up our celery. I'm gonna dice up my onions. Now I'm gonna do my okra. No, so I will put ingredients. Gonna look a soup here now. I will put ingredients. Now lastly guys, we have some green bananas that I am going to cut into two. And I'm wearing some gloves because green bananas have this kind of stainy thing and I don't want it to stain my hand. All right guys, so we've finally gotten our ingredients ready and it's time to start cooking our soup. Now I have my big Dutch pot on the stove right here. I have my stove on medium high and now I'm gonna add some olive oil to the pot. That's good enough. Then I'm allow that oil to heat up a little bit before I actually start putting my ingredients in. Okay guys, so my oil is hot now so I'm gonna start adding my ingredients. I am going to add, start adding my onions first. along with my pumpkin and my carrot. I'm also gonna add my celery. I'm gonna mix that in. And I'm gonna allow this to saute for about five minutes before I come back. Okay guys, now that all our vegetables have been sauteing for five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and add our banana, our green banana and our okros. I'm gonna mix that in. Then we're gonna leave this for another five minutes and then we're gonna come back. So guys, our vegetables and our provisions have been sauteing for a good little minute now. And guys, I'm gonna add another ingredient that I forgot to tell you guys about. I'm gonna add a little bit of ketchup to the mix. Not a lot, just a little. Okay, that's good enough. I'm gonna stir that. Ooh, you smell that first? So what the purpose of the ketchup? What the ketchup for? The, the ketchup gets a, a, a little more kind of nice, little sweet, little flavor. Look at ketchup oh. flavor. Two meters, you I'm know? never able to ketchup in a soup yet, my love. Yes, my dear, you've got a nice little flavor. But you don't use a wooly. Oh. So I'm gonna make this saute down for two more minutes 
Then I'm gonna come back and start adding some water. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add four cups of hot, boiling hot water. You can either use the, the, the hot water from your tap or you can use boiling water. So I'm gonna add four of those. One, two, three, four. And also the super smell flavorful. The smell the spices and everything. Then I'm gonna allow this to simmer for a bit, say about 10 minutes, and allow the vegetables to kind of cook out and mesh with, this, with the, the water that we just added. Yeah, so we're gonna cover that and come back in 10 minutes. Okay guys, so our pot have been simmering for like 10 minutes. Ooh, now it's a good. what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and add four more cups of hot water. So it's gonna, it's gonna be eight cups in total. I'm gonna add that. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our fish tea package right here. All the ingredients in there. Then we're gonna go and add the rest of our green seasoning that we had. Get all of that in there. Then we have some celery leaf right here. We have some green onions and some thyme that we're gonna add to the pot also. Add all of that in here. No, so I will put seasoning in this. Yes, then mix that in. A super bit, very flavorful. Mix that in, baby. Then we're gonna also add some salt. That should be good enough. Then now we're gonna allow this to simmer for 15 to 20 minutes, then we're gonna come back. Now guys, the fish is the, gonna be the last thing we put in the pot because the fish is not, doesn't take long to cook, so that's gonna be the last thing we put in, okay? So guys, it's been 20 minutes since our soup has been simmering. Look how it's coming on. It nice. smells good. Nice, okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add our golden ray butter. Now guys, I don't think you can find this in the regular supermarket. Maybe a supermarket that sell like Caribbean stuff. If you don't find any regular supermarket, just find a uh, Caribbean market somewhere. Because uh, this is a special type of butter. This butter is actually like seasoned. It have kind of like a cheesy buttery smell. So I'm going to add some of this. For smell your butter butter, yeah. A good amount. Mmm. Can I add flavor to the pot? Yes. Oh. So we're going to let that marinate in the pot. So we're going to, all right. So I'm going to cover the pot now for another like 10 minutes. And then when we come back, we're gonna finally add our fish. No, so the super take long and the longest soup ever seen. So guys, everything is coming along pretty fine right it now. Look at this. Nice. Look at this. Um, actually, when you're doing fish tea, you don't want it to be too thick because it's not, it's not like how you would have soup, like how the soup would be thick. This is supposed to be a little bit thin because it's a tea. So now guys, time to add our final and most important ingredients. We're gonna add the kingfish. Kingfish, now. come true. No, you guys. Step on my youth. No, guys, you don't have to use kingfish. You can use um, snapper if you want. But we're using, we think that kingfish goes best with the fish soup. So let's go. Add them in, baby. Look at them boys, well seasoned, okay? The only thing with the red snapper fish don't have them small bones there, so it's more dangerous. So I think the kingfish is, is better to use. And now we're gonna let this sit for another eight minutes and then it should be done because fish doesn't take a long to cook, baby. Listen, I am ready to taste this. Yes! And also at this time, guys, what you can do is you can taste your, your fish tea soup and decide if you want some more salt in there or whatever. So yes, let's let this simmer for eight more minutes and then we're ready. Finally done, guys. Ready. Look guys, look at this. This looks so good. Look at good. the fish. The fish is perfectly cooked. Ooh. And as I said before, guys, it don't need to be too thick because it's fish tea soup. So, guys, look at this. No, my dear, watch ya. No. We're ready for taste of soup, yeah. It smells so good, guys. Let's soup ya look delicious. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready, Craig? Yes. Mm hmm Okay, guys. So it's time to finally eat. Ooh. Listen, I'm excited about oh, this, this soup. soup. Listen. Oh, this smells. And this good. soup is keto friendly. 
Let's say our grace. God is good. God, God is, is great. great. Let us thank Him for our food. Amen. Mm. Also, my mom, be careful. Cut this art. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. Oh, Kerry. Kerry. Oh. I feel you got all the man, Kerry. I feel you got all the man. Oh, this is good. Mmm. Mm-mm. It tastes the whole every different seasoning. Kerry, I feel you got all the man. The fish tea soup in the back done already. Mmm. Ooh. Let me taste piece of the fish. Mmm. Oh, this tastes good. Guys, this is perfect for a cold winter day. Mmm. Ladies, if you have the money you want, or if you keep him, cook him some fish tea soup. Yeah? Oh my god, guys. Mmm. Mmm, this is good. Guys, this is so bomb. Let me get a piece of celery in here. More want a piece of okra. Okra, then. Mmm. Okra, number body. Okra, body. Let me get a piece of okra, shoot, too. Guys, if I blow up on it, whole heap, because it's hot like ten fire cool side. Cool it, cool it down. Mm. 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 So guys, this name fish tea, or you can call it um, fish broth. Broth? Yes. Broth. No, I'm just piece of fish. The season and everything just come out. Mm. Ooh, mm -hmm. Fish hot. Mm. Fish hot, good meal. Mm. Amazing. Get a piece of carrot. Listen, this is perfectly seasoned, girl. Carrot, good for your eyesight, good in. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm officially chef of 2019. I deserve that title. Mm. Guys, these celery, I don't normally like celery like that, but it tastes so good in this soup. No, so that soup here at bar. I have to take my time. I don't want to my tongue, my love. Mmm. 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 This taste is amazing. Oh, me. Oh, my. Pretty baby, don't be shy. Mmm. No, this okra. My short inner soup. Are you dumb? Just perfect. Like the fish are not having much bone. I just one big bone is having. I mean, I'm looking bone at all. You know, we have that boat. Mm. Yes. Just what my stomach needed. Ah, okay, it tastes so good. No guys, I know that every, it's not everybody that like okra, so you don't have to put it in there if you don't want to. But listen, it's not the same without it. That soup is bad. Ooh. Ooh. That soup is like my belch. One big dirty belch. Mm. What a pumpkin in there. That's really good. Guys, what is the feeling sick? Can I cook up a little bit of this, my love? I can feel better. 
Imagine when I warm up some of this tomorrow. Mm -mm. When it sit down and when you put it in the fridge and it just, the sits, everything just seeping. Listen, this is so good because you know, say, around them time, it was flu season. So this is really good. All right, good girl, me done now. Mm. Guys, that was so delectable. That was so scrumptious. Mm. Oh. What occur them there? It is what? Why open up my man and ask that good evening? Sorry, sorry people, you are your pirate dish. Why open up my man and ask that good evening? You are your pirate dish. Huh? Well, listen, that soup here will put back the power in your back. It will give you the stamina that you need. Mm -hmm. Burn him, burn it up. Yeah, burn him up. Mm hmm. No, I'm gonna feel good. I feel like I want to fight, I feel like I want to jump one fence. Yeah? I feel like I want to climb one mango tree, one aki tree. Mm hmm. I feel vitalized. You feel very talkative today. I feel like I lacked a one plus. Mm hmm. Go for it, go for it. The soup has got cool down. Mm hmm. Guys, make sure if you recreate this meal, you send us your pictures and your videos so we can see how good you did, okay? And guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so every time we upload a new video, you get a notification. Yes, listen. And as we always say, every day is another chance to slay. So oh. slay, bitch. Oh, slay oh. with this soup, girl. You slay see what that soup just did? Slay honey? with this fish tea, girl. Oh. Ew, nasty, girl. Slay, yes. girl, slay. And we'll see you guys in the next video. We love you guys. Wait, 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 wait. I know you wasn't about to leave without subscribing. And while you're at it, click the bell right beside it so you can know every time we upload a video. And grow. Make sure you like this video, grow. And leave a comment down below, grow. Okay, grow. Okay. Right now. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body